Shrinkage. Stick around, guys. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about what has been asked on my channel numerous times, and I have apparently not um, answered the question today. We're gonna to do that. We're gonna talk about conduit shrinkage and kind of understand a little bit about it. Now, just wanna give you just a real quick explanation of a lot of the things that people in the field do. Uh, as you guys, if you're apprentices or you're learning conduit or you already know it, a lot of the times you just bend a little long and you cut it off. That way you don't have to worry about it. Now, if you guys wanna be precise, when I first started, I always wanna be extra precise. If you wanna do that, I'm gonna tell you guys how to do it. It's pretty much always accurate. Obviously, you know, if you're sloppy on the bender, your mark's a little far back and maybe, you know, a 16th, eighth inch off. But like I said, a lot of the times, people in the field will just make it a little bit longer. That way they don't have to worry about it. Now this tape measure right here will tell you guys a lot of information. I've shown this before on my videos. It has a lot of information on it. This is the Klein, this is the 25 footer. Of course they make it in 16 and 30 and so on and so forth. Conduit Benny multipliers, it has the multipliers on it. It also has the phases uh, of wire, what color is which, which we're not talking about that right now, but we will definitely talk about that eventually. Has the multipliers and the shrink factors. So it says here, for a 30 degree bend, that's what we're gonna work on this go around. Now, I will brief you here on the whiteboard just quick. So if you don't wanna watch that, you can just look down below in the uh, description, there'll be some timestamps. But I'm just gonna brief you on the 30, that's what we're gonna work on today. The whiteboard I'm gonna show you on the 10 degree, 22 and a half, the 30, the 45, and the 60, what the shrinkage is per, this will show you uh, per inch. So we'll talk about what that means here as we go along. And, but like I said, we're gonna focus today mainly on the 30 degree bend right here. We'll write it on the, um, whiteboard here because nobody wants to look, do the whiteboard and then not go and show you real life situation because that is what you came here for. I can't stand to watch channels that will show you all the information but then never do it. You're kind of left out in the you know left field so I'm going to show you guys how it works but right now I'm going to write here on the whiteboard and bring you a little closer so you guys can see it those there's no uh, lights blaring down on it you guys will be able to see uh, we'll talk about it like I said timestamps will be down below. Somebody said I talk way too fast, so I'm gonna try to slow myself down. All right, so uh, we'll talk about it and then we'll go do it. So come on. Unfortunately, the way the lighting is in this little studio I have here, uh, it is what it is. We're just gonna have to deal with, uh, you see some lights in there because they're above head. But anyway, we're gonna make do with what we got. So this is a 10 degree bend. You have a 16th of an inch. Okay, listen to what I'm gonna say now. 16th of an inch shrinkage per inch of rise. So for every inch that you go up, four inches would be a quarter inch. You're gonna to have to add, okay? So in other words, if you're having a four inch offset, you gotta add a 16th each inch. So you'll have 1 16th, 2 16th, 3 16th, 4 16th, which is roughly a quarter inch. So if you are doing a four inch offset, like we were doing in our, in our little demonstration before. If you haven't followed along with that, you may want to go back and look up in this corner right here and follow along. Now, same goes with all these, but let's just say we're at one inch, all right? So for inch, so if you're only doing a one inch offset at 10 degrees, you only have to add a 16th inch and I'll explain where to put the mark, and I'll explain all the other stuff later on. For 22, it's 3 sixteenths, 30, quarter, 45, 3 eighths, and a 60, and a whopping half inch. All right, that's how much you're gonna lose on your pipe. Now, what does that mean? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna erase this part right here because we know that's pre inch rise. All right, so let me try to explain this to you the best I can. I am not an artist, believe me. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the 30 degree bends because this is what we're gonna be doing over here in a second, I'm gonna show you guys. Not on the whiteboard, but in real life. So we're gonna do 30 degree bend, and we're gonna do it at four inches, all right? Now remember, for every inch, so if this was just a one inch offset, you'd only have to add a quarter. So I'm gonna show you on a one inch, and I'm gonna show you on a four inch, because that's what we're gonna be doing. That's what this 
uh, little segment has been about. The four inch offset, 30 degree, or 10 all the way to 60. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up in this corner, guys. You guys will see right here this video coming up. You might want to check it out. It's a whole episode, a whole series, basically, of understanding how to bend. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you. Now, I'm no artist, so don't even expect anything but the best here because you know how artists do. All right, so this is going to be a one-inch offset first. All right. Let's say that your journeyman or you or whatever said, hey, you know, we need to uh, have a, a, a one inch offset, start the bends at 24 inches. All right. Well, OK, so you know that this is your first bend right here. This right here is your first bend. That's your second. So you know that you have to measure. Of course, your pipe will be straight. It'll look like that. That'll be your pipe. And when you're done, it'll look like that, of course. But you have to measure, put your first mark right here. Well, he said he needed a 24 inch is where you need to start for a one inch offset. Well, you already know if you're at 30 degrees, you're going to have to make it actually 24, right? And a quarter, correct? So what will happen is when you put it in the bender, you'll measure from this part of your pipe. Let's look at this here. So it'll be right here. And you'll measure all the way out here to 24 and a quarter. So when it's all said and done, when you bend it, it'll be exactly 24. All right, let's say you bend it, right? And it comes out and it's 24 and an eighth. No problem. All you have to do is hack it off, right? Because you have a sawzall, porta band, or whatever you have. All right, now let's say here's what we're going to do because this was the episode series that I did. We did it at four inch offset. So you'll have your regular piece of pipe and you'll have your offset, right? All right. We know that we still want to do it at 24 inches. So here's our first bend right here. Right here's our first bend right here. All right, we need to put it at 24. All right, and what's, what is it going to be? 24 and what? All right, it's a quarter inch for every inch. And we know that we're going four inches this time. Well, a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter is one whole inch. So now this measurement will actually be 25 inches. And when you bend it, It'll suck up, and that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you guys over here on this piece of pipe. Uh, we're going to mark it at 25, uh, and we're going to bend it. And I'm going to show you how it actually basically sucks up. It's kind of crazy how that works, but it's also really important that you know that because if you need, if it has to be, if you're, let's say you have a, whatever, a beam or something, and you know that in the top of this pipe right here needs to sit perfectly right here, all right? Let me put the arrow there. <clears throat> and you make it too short, what's going to happen is you want your pipe to lay right here and then come down. So the top it's riding perfectly. Well, if you make it too short, what's going to happen is it's going to be looking like something like this. Now, hold on. That's not a, that's not even a daggum square. It's going to look more like this, right? It's going to come out and it's going to look like that. Now, it might be okay for some people, but if you if you're a journeyman or you want to be exact, guys, I'm telling you, you need to know these formulas. Now, I'm not going to keep on talking on the whiteboard. We're going to go over there. I want you to remember, all right, what these are. Now, if you don't know what these are and you can't remember them, no problem. Get this tape measure, and I will leave a link down below to my Amazon store. Let me turn the light back on where you guys can pick this up. This will tell you so much, guys. I mean, conduit multipliers. I think that's all it has, yeah. I mean, it has all kinds of information, guys. I mean, just look at that. Klein has done it again. All right, enough talking. We've talked a lot. We've shown a lot. Now let's go over to the floor and take care of business. All right, there's really no need for me to keep my ugly mug up in this picture. So what I want to do is I want to show you guys that I've cut this conduit at right at 50. I mean, it may be a 16th over but not much, if that, and that could be the tape measure. We're gonna say it's 50. Now I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna bend this thing with a four inch offset. So, do as I say, now as I do. I'm using a Sharpie, it's the way it is. I want you guys to understand this. Do you remember how far I come back on my pipe? And if you don't, now is your opportunity to go back and watch those videos. So I'm gonna come two inches back. All right, need a four inch offset. So we're going to make it eight inches. Well, actually, we're going to go 10. And I'll show you why. When you put it down here on your first mark, it's actually eight. Now, the reason why we're doing this 
we know that this was give or take 50 inches exactly. What's gonna happen when we bend this, all right, it should be right at 49, okay, right? Because why? Hmm? You guys know? I'm just drawing a, a little line around here, and believe me, my lines are not exact, but close enough, right? All right, so this piece of pipe should equal 49 inches when we're done. So no, no editing, so I was gonna, let me just write something on here. Let me write, um, sub, subscribe. So now's your chance to hit that subscribe button. All right, when we measure this again, it should be exactly 49 inches or pretty daggum close, right? So now with this bender, if you remember from the episodes, we have to move this little piece in here. Now, I'm not gonna say you have to have this bender because for years I've never had this option, but I do like it. I think Klein's pretty, pretty amazing with this bender that they have here. But regardless, let's go ahead and bend this and let's see, all right? Here we go. We're gonna come down to the 30, all right? And we're gonna flip it around, put it in and flip it around. We're gonna side our pipe. I have videos of how to bend conduit, so that's why I'm going, I'm not gonna say fast, but I'm going at a, you know, a speed that, not telling you exactly because I got plenty of videos on that. You can link down to a playlist if you wanna check it out. All right, let's take it out. It should be four inches. And let's measure this unit. All right, moment of truth, guys. Y'all hear that bag? Now, unfortunately, guys, um, let's see, how can I get this without editing? All right, look, I'm hooked to the front, as you can see. All right, no fake. Nothing fake here. 49. Can you guys see that? I hope so. Pretty amazing, huh? So now you guys know exactly what to do. I hope that brought a little clarity to you guys uh, for every inch at 30 degrees. Now that only works on 30. I mean, you can see if it's 10, this is what you gotta do. So, you know, at, at four inch offset at 10 degrees, you'd be losing what? Quarter inch, so on and so forth. And at 60, my God, you'd be losing two inches. It is what it is. I mean, that's what you got. You've got to, you've got to figure that out, guys. I mean, it's very important. You know, it works on all types of pipes, whether it's half inch all the way up to whatever, okay? That's, that's just the nature of the beast. So when you guys are bending, keep that in mind. It works on four-point saddles, which I have videos on that. It works in three-point saddle also. Now, if you guys want to know how to do a three-point saddle, I have a video coming up right beside me. You guys can check that out. And I will see you there. If you want to see what happens next, make sure you like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.